Thank you very much, Cordy. So nice to have baseball back and uh, go fish. Our buddy Drew Kosev today is looking at uh, what is today right across the school boards through our area. It's Music Monday, an opportunity to show the focus of why music matters. Good morning, Drew. Good morning, Jeremy. Just uh, practicing up my guitar technique so that I'm ready to go for Music Monday because some really great things happening right across the country today. All right, let's talk about it. We got we know we have Chris Hatfield in the International Space Station is actually going to be singing the song he wrote with Bare Naked Ladies uh, for kids right across Canada. That's right. So that's going to be really, really cool. So people are going to be uh, at different schools going to be talking to a guy in outer space about music. And many of them will be performing a song that Chris Hadfield wrote with one of the members of the Bare Naked Lady. So that's really cool. But each school is sort of encouraged to uh, tailor the program to whatever the interests are of the students. So some students are uh, maybe studying a, a new genre of music or learning a favorite song as a group. So maybe they're taking a, a rock song or a blues song and then turning it into a nice ensemble piece. So the whole idea, though, is to uh, really appreciate music programs and celebrate the great work that is happening inside of our schools. Okay, the school you were at, uh, Collège uh, Pierre Le Trudeau, what exactly are they doing today? They've got really great stuff lined up. Uh, three very prominent local guitarists who are uh, going to be stopping by the school today. And to tell us a little bit more about that, we have Chef de Musique, Brady Gill. Thanks so much for letting us come down to your music space today. Yeah, absolutely. Now, let's uh, talk. Jeremy was asking about the special things that you guys have going on. So what are you guys doing uh, that is unique to your school today? Well, this afternoon, we're hosting uh, three guitar players in a guitar festival, Shred Fest. Shred Fest? Yeah. Okay, I like this. And uh, I don't teach too much guitar here and so we thought we'd bring in some specialists to do their genres of music. And what's really cool is you've got some pretty unique specialists who are really experts in their area. So who do you got and what's their area of interest? Well, we have a blues guy named Daryl Torsia who's from town here. We have uh, Derek Godfrey from Harlequin and uh, Keith McPherson from Keith and Renee. No kidding! Yeah. So uh, a great lineup for uh, the students here at the school. And uh, explain the, the idea behind Music Mondays because we want everyone at all schools in the city to be participating today, right? Yeah, um, Music Monday is an advocacy tool for music education programs to, uh, to kind of get the word out that music is uh, it's a universal language, it's important, and uh, if we keep doing it in school, it'll become part of our culture of society. Really smart too, having the program as, as part of the curriculum, um, it makes it something that students are going to be keeping up with for uh, a very long time. And for schools who uh, maybe are just finding out about this now, uh, they can still participate. We can get them registered and if they don't necessarily have a music program, uh, through the website it's very easy to get the music, correct? Yeah, I think you can download all the music and download videos of uh, Ed Robertson and Chris Hadfield singing the song. So even if you can't play these songs or you haven't had time to rehearse, you can just go to the website, which we have on our site at Breakfast television.ca so you can download and participate with schools across the country for Music Monday. Uh, a little earlier on I was uh, strumming around on guitar and uh, trying, to, trying to figure out exactly where I may be missing some pieces because I think with guitar a lot of people maybe inherit a guitar or pick one up as a whim and they're a lot of self-taught but if there's one most important thing that we can work on as a self-taught musician to make us better guitar players what would that be? Well the most important thing would probably just be to play a lot okay. but as far as your technique goes you want to make sure that your hands are in the right place. Okay so what does that mean exactly? Well you want to make sure your thumb is behind the fretboard here so that you can push against it with your fingers. Okay gotcha. And that's going to do away with a lot of pain in your oh, hand. Oh, I was going to say, it looks kind of like cooler when you're like this, but or it like this. It does look cool. But this also looks like I'm going to have I, carpo tunnel um, I, whatever at a very that's young called, age. Yeah, I think so. Okay, gotcha. So uh, don't go for the twist, and that's going to put the, the fingers in a, a very good position so that we can uh, play uh, play easily, correct? For sure, yeah. All right, so we talked about Shred Fest. Uh, what are we going to be able to see uh, throughout the course of the morning here? Uh, a couple of our bands will be performing in the school this morning, and a choir is going to sing in the hallway. And, and uh, we'll do O Canada Live over the PA. Whoa, O Canada Live in yeah. the school. This is really good stuff. Some exciting things happening here at College Pierre Elliott Trudeau. And if you want to make sure that your school gets involved, there's still time. Go to our website, breakfasttelevision.ca, because we have the link to all of the Music Monday information so that you can go there, you can download the song, and find out what is going on through across the country and participate in your school. We're taking a quick break here on Breakfast Television, but more to come later today on City TV. Mm -hmm.